Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. Been a while since we've been here. We've been doing so much with the Fishing Planet and some of the other new games that I've been playing. I thought I'd come back and give this a try recently. I, I think it was June 10th. They did make some changes to the Fish AI, the Fish Stamina, and apparently some other changes. I thought I'd come in and check it out see just if anything's changed if anything's easier anything's harder but I'm very very close to leveling up to 26 in this game and 27 will get me all the way to Thailand so I'm getting there I'm getting there get close we get a couple of big fish here and we will be good to go I was trying to see it didn't look like we have the lag issue at least not yet Depends, I guess, whether or not it does it when I get my pole out. But we are on the map in position 6. And the reason I'm here is because this seems to be one of the best locations in the past to get the European flounder and the eels, which, even though they're not as big, they are pound for pound worth a lot more XP and cash, at least that's what I've been seeing. But it seems like they like to hang under that bridge. So I'm going to see if we can not get something like that. Now let's see is what we've got of our equipment here to work with. Let's see this. Now this is going to get us sea sturgeon, sea trout, salmon, and xander. Like I said, I kind of wanted to get the flounder. The flounder are easy to pull in, like, and they're worth a lot of cash and XP. So let me see if we can't come up with something that will get their attention a little bit better than some other things see that's for Halloween only let's see now, I thought these got their attention yep European flounder the white one does and I think the purple one does if I still have it I might have lost it honestly let's see what does this go for European flounder that might be a good one to use because it does seem to single out some of the others. We got this blue one. That one gets that one gets it as well. Let's try the blue one. That's one we haven't used before. Well, that's only a level one. That's a level four. Let's get something a little bit higher on the levels. level two and most of these are level one so yeah I think I might go with this one this is a level four and that is what I'm gonna to try to work with here we've got oh well, that's a little bit heavy let's go here to the smaller one these are float rods. Okay, here we go. That's where it was. Have it on this one. Okay, custom four. Let's just go ahead and go with that. Yep, we do have lag. It seems to do it when we get the rod out. I don't understand that. And it's still not fixed. Usually, though, after a minute or so, it kind of fixes itself has to do with shaders I believe and we can get a wow it really does that bad 
But what I like about this game is the underwater camera view. That is probably the best part about this game. You can spin it around, you can take a look and see what's coming after it. See, so we got a got a Xander right after that real quick. Shouldn't take us too long to get him in. Again, lots of lag issues, but he isn't any kind of star at all. Just a little fella. So that's the only problem with fishing with these small lures. You end up getting the smaller fish, too. We're going to try our darndest to get one of those European flounders. Gotta let it sink, though. They're going to be near the bottom. I mean, they are a bottom-dwelling fish. Yeah, it looks like we got Xander out the wazoo out here. Hmm. Oh, he dropped it. Well... That's been known to happen. Ooh, we got us an eel. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He's going to be worth something. There we go. Something a little more significant. Yeah, this is much lighter gear, so it's a little bit harder to get this guy fought in. My first ride goes up to 160 pound test, so let's see how big this guy is. He's good size. Two. A two star. See what I mean? 97.51. 56xp. And they definitely come bigger. I've, I believe I've gotten a five star. I'd have to, if I did, I'd probably have it in my trophy room. Let me go ahead and keep him. Let's try over here. Yeah, one of my friends said that the, he likes to grind the. European flounder because they're, they're so high in the XP and cash. But it seems like, like I said, so many different things go for these lures. While Xander aren't bad to catch, they don't seem to be worth much. Yep, and they're everywhere too. We may need to change our lure here. Yeah, because this is a little guy. Let's just release him because he's worth more XP if I let him go than if I keep him. Let me see if we got something else here that might be worth a little bit more. Let's see sea sturgeon, we've got let me look through here and see if I can't find anything that attracts the flounder besides those little lures. Alright guys, I did find one. It's the Robinson Martin 65 millimeter. I'm going to use this one because it does go for sea trout and Atlantic salmon, but it does single out European flounder, so we might have a better shot at getting these guys instead of all these Xander and Asps, which aren't worth very much. Because the European flounder are over here. I have seen them, unless they've moved them. 
And if I have, we'll just relocate somewhere else. And I think... Yeah, this is one that floats unless you reel it in, so it goes down. Now we won't have every little thing attacking it. Okay, we've got some kind of, probably a sea, well, nope, he let go of it. Sea trout and salmon go for it, also, so... Looked like something was getting interested in it, and then it kind of quit. Water's pretty murky. I can't see much. Yep, nothing went for it that time, but again, like I said, this is. These are more specific. Whoa, there's a fish. <laughs> I didn't even know I had him. <laughs> He's a sea trout. $89 for that sea trout. Yeah. I didn't even know he was on there. Holy crap, that was weird. How much is he worth if we release him? 134. Yeah, that's what I really want to do is level up. Let's try over here. I haven't seen a flounder yet, though. That was really strange. I've had that happen a couple of times. It's like... Why won't my pole lift up and I realize there's a fish dangling from it. Yeah, if I don't get a founder this time, I think I might... There we go. We got one now. There's one. That's what we're after. Let's see how much... This one's not very big. But usually it doesn't have to be too big. Let's see how much he's worth. He's three star, but 194. See what I mean, guys? 194.68 for a three pound fish. How much is he worth XP? Not very much XP. He's worth more cash. So we're going to keep him. So I think they're right under there. That seems to be where they're, where they're located. I'm perfectly happy to get some more sea trout because they're worth a lot too. They seem to be worth more XP. And that, I believe, is a salmon. Ooh, and it's a decent sized one too. Let's see how big this fella is here. Okay, we're going to have to take our tension down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, he was going to break our line. This guy might be worth something. Yeah, for a while there... Their stamina seemed like it lasted forever, and it was really, really hard to get anything in, especially big ones. And supposedly that's been fixed. I did check the Slovakia map, and they still have some weird glitches going on with that, so that hasn't been fixed yet. Oh wow, he's going to take make a break for it, little bugger. Look at him go. Where are you going? Son of a gun, he is going to make a break. Well, this is substantial fish. OK, 
Okay, we gotta tire him out a little bit. All right, let's keep his head up. We got his head up. Once you get their head up, well, he went. He dived. You see that? He went under. I had his head up, and then he he went under. Wow, this is some fish. He is doing it again. Man. This has got to be a, the best I've got. It's got to be a personal best for these this species. He is taking off again. Now what? Jeez. I guess we're going to be here a while. <laughs> Holy crap. He's back out 100 feet again. Yeah, when I lifted his head up, I had, thought I had him for sure. See, just like that. When I usually get him like that, it's over. But he keeps diving and getting the upper hand, or fin. Got him. Wow. He's only a two star. Holy crap. $232. No, two, yeah, $230.29. Not a record for me, but he's a good sized fish. It must be my gear is a little bit smaller. But I was going for European flounder, not salmon. How daggone big do they get? What is that thing floating in front of me? There's another glitch. They really need to get these glitches fixed. Let me get a picture of that. If I can. There we go. Decent sized salmon. Let's see, how much is he worth if I release him? 822. Now, let me take a look at this gear here. 17.64 pounds. Well, that's probably why I had such a tough time bringing him in. Let me see. What do I have on my custom 5 here? This is 14 pound. This is 164. So, if I... Wait a minute. Looks like I got some unclaimed awards here. Catch a fish of any species that weighs at least 13 pounds. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's 125 cash. Got to catch 33 fish of that of a given species and 66.14 pound single species of fish rainbow trout. And you could change these points. What I understand. I don't know if I've got any. No, I don't have any skill points to spend. Which is too bad. Yeah, what is my personal record for the? Let's see, Atlantic salmon. I thought. Maybe they just call them salmon in this. Some some of them will say Atlantic salmon. Some will say salmon. Nope, it's Atlantic salmon. He is my personal best so far. So that's pretty darn good. Yeah, let's see if we can't beat that. What's... 4.67 pounds of five-star eel. I did get a five-star eel. I've not got a five-star European flounder yet. Got a coho salmon up to five stars, a pink salmon up to five stars. Got a few five star ones. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do here with this. I 
I'm going to go ahead and use this on here, and then I'm going to put this on here and see if we can't catch us a really, really large salmon. I hope using such big gear doesn't mess us up. Sometimes that will. Oh, we're back to having lag issues. We're back with lag again. Oh, wait a minute. Shoot. It didn't switch rods. I thought I switched the rod. Whoa, what the heck? Another glitch. Ah, boy. And I'm stuck. Yeah, there's still a lot of issues with this, guys. That's one of the things that I've heard a lot of people complain about is... They haven't been making a whole lot of changes to this, and there's been issues. I don't even know how to get rid of this. I can't cast. I can't switch rods. Well, let's try this. Let's... Let's go to our equipment. Let's take this, switch it. Maybe if we put something else there. No, I can't even do that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I can. Okay. I think that might have fixed the problem. So, if that happens to you, take the lure off. It seems to have repaired it. Okay. Good to know. In case it happens again. Take a hook down the ground. Alright. And we I believe we can get snags now, which is a problem. Let's see if we can't get us something big. Let's beat 59 pounds if we can. I'd be happy with sea trout too. Actually, any of the three would make me a happy, happy camper. Something jumped. Ah, there we go. European flounder. Boom, we got him. We got his little butt. Oh, he got off, you little turd. Yeah, and I set the hook, too. Well, that's just wrong. <laughs> that's real life, but that's just wrong still. Teasing me. see something. Does it? Nope, it definitely floats. There we go. That's a sea trout, so let's get him in. He'll be worth something. And he's substantial size, too. I mean, this is a, not a small rod, so if he's holding his own... Let me take a look up at the surface here. Yeah, he's holding his own. Yeah, gone. He might be a good sized fish. I mean, I should get him in, but the fact that he held back 164 pound test, even for a, a little bit. There we go. Three star sea trout. Wow, new personal record. Yep. That's what I was trying to do. 536 ca cash, 56.61 pounds. That's what we're after, guys. Personal records. What's he worth XP wise? 7895 XP. 530 XP. I'm going to release him. Like I said, I need the XP really bad. I want to level up. I want to get to Thailand. The only way I can get to Thailand is by playing the sandbox version. And that's cheating. <laughs> I want to get there legitimately. 
Oh, I think I'm still hooked on the ground. There we go. Okay, we're good. Sometimes when you do that, it just automatically comes all the way in, so I wasn't sure if it was just going to pop back to me. But that's some... There we go. I hope I can bring this little guy in. Yeah, like they don't get very big, so... Yeah, that was definitely the right idea to move to that lure. But yeah, he's only a one star. He's worth more cash than he is XP, so sometimes that's the case. This thing really casts far. Good God, every time. Yeah, I'd really like to get one more salmon. I would love to get a big old salmon, like five star salmon. Is that a sea trout? I think it is. Yep. Yeah, I also saw a, a flounder right next to him. Oh, so he's going to fight a little bit. Think you're bad, huh? Apparently he does. Alright, we got him. Let's see. XP or cash? I'm gonna release him. Need the cat need the XP. Yeah, I'm not gonna toss this as far this time. It seems like it keeps going. on land every time I do it. I think after this one I'm gonna pop over to the other side and see what I can get from a different perspective. Oh, there we go. Did he get off of there? He did. He did. That little turd. He got off of there. Yeah, the flounders seem to get off of him pretty easily. Not sure why. I kept thinking that one up over above me is going to go after it, but it keeps wiggling around like it's going to do something, but... Yep, I thought that one was coming after it the last minute. But he missed. Yeah, let's go ahead and Right now we're over here, and I'm thinking about jumping over maybe to here. Trying casting this direction. Just to be different.
Wow, over 300 feet, that's quite the cast. There we go. I think that is a salmon. And he looks fairly decent. We can take the drag up a little bit. Probably muscle him in, but he is giving me a bit of a fight. Now, 59 pounds is what we're looking to beat. Not quite. 39 pounds. Definitely worth more XP wise. Okay, I'm just going to toss this a little ways out this time. Not nearly as far. That's not nearly as far. <laughs> Still went about 300 feet out. 278. Yeah, these rods cast crazy distances. It's nuts. Ah, there we go. Come on, little fella. Don't you dare do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I said don't do it. Alright guys, I am back. I don't know what happened, but the computer completely froze up. Yeah, like I said, there are still bugs with this. And I did check their site, and it seems like one of the things they said is they're not dead. They are working on these fixes. They still got a lot to work on. Yeah, Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original, still much, much better as far as being dependable. <laughs> This one still has some serious glitches and bugs that I'm still trying to work around. Like I said, there are aspects of it that I like much better. I wish Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original, had this camera capability. I love this. But it seems like every time I've had an issue, it's been when I've caught one of these <laughs> European flounder. I don't know what it is, but... Let's see if it works again. It's usually once... Okay, that time it worked. That's a two-star one. 114 cash. Now let's see if it allows me to keep it. Yeah, whatever it is, it fixed itself. I don't know what the heck happened. God only knows. <laughs> but the lag issue seems to have fix itself too. You know, sometimes your computers are making updates too. That's another thing you got to watch out for. Your computer will be doing things in the background, you're not aware of it, and it slows things down or causes things to crash. Uh, that's kind of frustrating, but I've got things to set automatically update a lot of times, so it could be... Oh, wow. He just went for it. I mean, it could have been something like that for all I know. We got us another sea trout, but the only problem is he is stuck behind a rock. We gotta get him off the rock. There we go, we got him. Yeah, that can happen too, but that actually is kind of realistic. They can do that. Now, he's not really big. We are fast approaching our next level, guys. I could get one really big salmon. I think I could level up to level 26. 
But this is going to probably have to be the last one, guys, because we are seriously running out of time. But yeah, it looks like the glitches have stopped. I don't know what happened. Another sea trout. Kind of hoping it's a big one. Not so sure. Yeah, he's not very big. Well, let's try one more time. One more time. Let's, let's just throw this a little ways out this time. Yeah, it's only 188 feet. Yeah, apparently that will bite even if you're not presenting anything. You're, it's just floating and they'll come and get it. Come on, let's get us a big old salmon. Not nope, a sea trout, but he might... No, nope, he's not very big. Yep. Well, we could try one more location. I really want to get one so bad. We could try position two. I don't think I've fished here too much. That's probably going to go all the way to the other side. Yeah, it did. Okay, we got it in the water, but barely. Let's just see if we can't get something different over here. Yeah, surprisingly, the sturgeon, despite their size, they can they kind of go toe to toe with the salmon as far as XP and cash. They're just harder to bring in. There we go. Now he looks he looks kind of healthy. Yeah, see? He's a one star. 274. 407 XP. I am so close. Look at that. I am just like a sliver away. I need 3067k XP. So close. So close. Let's see if I can smack the... <laughs> it's still hooked on the ground. Alright guys, I am back. Yes, it did freeze up again, and it froze up again on the European flounder. I don't know what is going on with that. That, my friends, you need to say something. I need to say something <laughs> to the developers, because that can't happen. That's That just can't happen. They need to fix that. Yeah, I don't know if it's just something here, but like I said, they really got a lot of work to do on this. This has a lot of potential, this game does. So they really need to do some stuff to fix some of these problems. But anyway guys, if you've got this game, there are some workarounds, some things you're just going to have to deal with. But anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.